Hi there, this is Russell Lowe, and this is part two of the spider chart tutorial. Uh, so we've got our uh, coloured lines uh, layer uh, active, and so I'll just minimise that. And uh, to create these uh, coloured lines, uh, I'm going to create some more polygons. Uh, there are four different colours, but I'm only going to create two because you'll get the point. So I'll click here. And it doesn't really matter what size these are because I'm going to adjust them. So go OK. And it is uh, off to the side there. You can see uh, I can drag it around. But what I'll do is I'll align it as well to my artboard. Again, that probably isn't necessary because we're going to distort it so much anyway by moving the points around. Uh, I'm going to change its color to say double click on the stroke, change its color to a bright blue and uh, change its stroke to oh yeah, one millimeter is quite thick uh, and then uh, I'll go into the direct selection tool which is A on the keyboard. And then I'll select one of these points and I'll drag it around, select another one, drag it to there, leave that one there, select another one, drag it to that point, select another one there, and so on. And by using the direct selection tool, I've been able to edit the polygon into something that doesn't look like a polygon. Let's try that again. So click the polygon tool, click anywhere, go OK, and then I won't shift it this time. I'll just go straight into changing its color to red. Go OK, I just double clicked on the stroke to change its color. And then in the A for direct selection tool, make sure I just click on one of them because they're all are selected by default and then move these points to their respective positions based on the on the data that I might be trying to illustrate. Oh, let's shift that one up to there so it's different and shift that one down to there so it's different. And there we go. Now I'll create a new layer for the text and I'll lock that colored lines layer so that it doesn't um, uh, I don't accidentally move anything around and then hit the text bar and uh, sorry text tool and click up here anywhere customer satisfaction double click on that and you can see I can adjust its size down here in the properties tab or up here in the main window. So let's just click on that a few times. Uh, hit the V, sorry, the uh, V and A shortcuts. And in fact, shortcuts all over with text uh, aren't the best. As you can imagine, it thinks you're trying to write the words. Uh, double click on this and I can change uh, the fill of it to Oh, well, it's already black, it's supposed to be black, so let's just make it a soft charcoal. And then uh, I can change the, uh, the font to bold, and we're getting something that's sort of similar. Uh, you can select a different font through, this one's Myriad Pro, but you can select a different font from the hundreds available. Uh, and then uh, I might just add one more. Uh, piece of text in here, customer A, uh, double, triple click on it I think, uh, click on here and reduce it to say 7 millimeters. use the tool here to shift it where I might like it, and once again uh, let's change its color to Uh, red, so it refers to this uh, piece here, uh, this part of the uh, data, sorry, 
and uh, change it from bold back to regular and then I'll use the line tool and hold shift down to snap it to either 45 vertical or horizontal and in this one it doesn't have any fill or stroke so double click on the stroke or just click on the stroke change that to red change that to I say 0.5 or 1 so that it matches the uh, rest of the graphics and there we go so we've got three layers now uh, I should change this to text so now I know what I'm doing if I wanted to edit these other layers I should probably lock what I'm not working on and uh, unlock the one that I want to work on select this the A select is the direct selection tool and shift any of these around you don't have to put it directly on a vertex I guess uh, you can see that it can align or sort of the smart guides are helping me connect it to a path as well so that's it for uh, spider charts thanks for watching